and I really like I like this. If Blockwork really changed it to this, oh my gosh, it'll be amazing. I would love that. Oh, they have bread! <gasps> they have bread! Oh my god, there's bread. I do like bread. Is this for me? I hope this is for me. Mm. Do you like my fabric car? It's a one and only kind fabric car. I'm not weird. <laughs> I'm not weird. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back here in a block board. So you guys know how in Blockboard the town is pretty, um, it's, you know, it's alright. The town in this game is just not the greatest. It's kinda, it gets a little boring after a while, and there's not really a whole lot to do around the city. A couple of developers have put together a little concept, uh, game showing what Blockwork could be like if the town was updated. And we're going to take a look at that today because uh, I'm really interested to see what differences, what things that they changed with the Blockwork town because we've all, I'm pretty sure all of us w really want like a town update. Um, that's probably the number one thing in 2021 hopefully we get. It's a concept game so it's not like actual Blockwork. Um, but it's an idea of what Bl Blockberg could be like if it did get up. Okie dokie, so here's the game. It's called Blockberg Map Revamp by Blockberg Concepts. I'll be putting the link of this game in the description so you guys can check it out for yourselves as well because it is free and, um, yeah, it is built by these amazing developers by Matt. You guys probably know Matt for his very informational leak videos and all of that on Blockberg. I am Aiden, I think. I am Aiden. There's Float Roblox. Oh my god, I know Float Roblox. Mega Ificent Regain Riot. Uh, Louis, Alo Louis. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm bad at pronouncing names. And Lil Vin X. Lil Vin. So yeah, these were the developers that helped make this concept game. Once again, it is only for fun and won't be added to Welcome to Blockberg. It is just a showcase. Uh, monetization isn't present and this is just a community project. It's just a fun little thing that they all put together. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's Coep this with his baby. Oh, <gasps> wow. Look at this. Do I get admin? Do I get admin commands? <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. So here is what the game looks like. You spawn here at Bloxburg City Hall. And as you can see, I'm a guest. Um, so this is what the city hall looks like. Like a revamped, uh, more updated Blockburg City Hall. So you got like a little office area up here. You can recognize some of the uh, Blockburg furniture objects. Um, but yeah, I really like this version of the city hall a lot better too because there's places to sit. Um, what's back here? Ooh. Okay, nothing's back here, but I like this a lot more than what we have currently in the actual city hall. Very nice. Wow. That is pretty. Here's what it looks like. I'm not sure if there's much changed to the exterior of the building, but the inside is definitely changed. And as you guys can see, it's the actual Blockberg map. So if we go over here, oh, I can run. Oh my gosh, thank goodness I can run. I was like, do I have to walk everywhere? So let's go to the gym first. We have this gym here. Oh, wow. So this is an updated version of the Blockberg gym. So you have all your training equipment out here. You can have some like water, water jug dispensers. So that's nice if you're a little parched, got your treadmills, everything. Every workout equipment in the game is here. And they also have your locker room as well. Also, as well as a changing room, hopefully they do add like shower room or something in the gym because a lot of gyms do have like, you know, their own showers and stuff. So I'm really glad they added like a little locker room here but it'll be cool to see like a little shower room too. This is really nice. I like this a lot. And it's just a lot more like clean, a lot more, it's very modern, very modern feeling. And you got your like your skylights too. It just makes it feel a lot more open. Everything about this is really nice. Exterior is a bit updated. Look at the roof too. Ooh, so that is really cool. So over here, right across from that, we know BFF Supermarket. Here's an update on that as well. <gasps> Oh my goodness. So we got a lot of really cool, colorful posters around the store to make it more vibrant, more welcoming, more like a store, you know? Of course, you got your checkout areas here. You got your nice foods and stuff. <gasps> they have more foods. They got like donuts, cookies, and cakes, um, your sodas and stuff, and your fruits and whatnot. And I really like, I like this. If Blockwork really changed it to this, oh my gosh, it'll be amazing. I would love that. Oh, they have bread! <gasps> they have bread! Oh my god, there's bread. I do like bread. Is this for me? I hope this is for me. They have loaves of breads for me. <gasps> Amazing. Amazing. Whoever added this in, I, you're so good. All right, and then back here, this is the stocking room. Not the stocking room, but like the stocking room, you know? But this is the stock room, of course, where you get your like bags and stuff. I love the changes to the supermarket. I don't know. It just, I hope they do something like this in the real Blockberg. But I really love the concept of it. It is nice. You got your like the best food in town. 
You've got a top rated market in Brockburg. It's probably because of the only market really, right? Okay, so usually there's nothing. I don't think there's anything here in particular when it comes to the real Blockburg. Like it's only just the supermarket and the gym. There's really nothing here, but they added a Blockburg high school. <gasps> a Blockburg high school. Now this is something that's been, been wanted for like ages, like an actual school. They added that in this concept showcase. So this is what the school looks like. You got your benches, your lockers, and there's a bit of graffiti on here too. Terrible. Who did this? You're going to detention. You got your classroom here. Uh, oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Look at this TV. Is this the Blockburg TV, but like huge? I don't know. Oh, wait, is it? I don't know. Uh, just a little classroom. But uh, there's a classroom there. Oh, if we go over here, we've got the, I think this is the attendance office. I think this is the attendance office. Maybe the principal's office. I'm not sure. Um, there's that. It might, it might be attendance office because it, it definitely looks like an attendance office. Here is just a bathroom, an open bathroom, <laughs> an open bathroom. Uh, over here, we have the cafeteria. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. And then back here, you've got the cafeteria kitchen. I really like this kitchen. I love this cafeteria kitchen. Uh, we've got ourselves, if we keep continuing on, this is the Blockberg High School gym. Oh my goodness. Imagine if they added like actual basketball hoops and basketball courts. So cool. And once again, the skylight gives all these windows and the skylight make this room feel more open, feel more bigger. So yeah, they even have like a scoreboard here as well. And then here is another classroom, which is probably one of the biggest classrooms, right? So yeah, it's a really big classroom. We can take further. We've got another classroom right here as well. So yeah, we have like three classrooms, right? There's like three total classrooms. And then of course you have the outdoor. This is a soccer field fo or football field. They call it football or soccer. That is it for the school. Look at that. So if we go over here, I'm noticing this right away. The nightclub has a whole different look. Look at the. Oh, it's not a whole different, but it looks extremely different. It looks very much like a nightclub now. Look at that. It is a really cool design. So if we go into the actual nightclub, so you got your neon lights everywhere. I do have to say the upstairs was a bit unnecessary. Was the upstairs unnecessary? I'm not sure, but they completely got rid of the upstairs area and then they just put all the seating around the dance floor. I feel like maybe the upstairs was maybe a bit unnecessary. Who knows? All right. So right next to the nightclub, we have our fancy furniture. Oh my gosh. This looks so much better. Like, this looks really good right here. Most people don't really use the fancy furniture store to actually shop for furniture, but it's just kind of like there because, you know, town. But this looks a lot more clean, a lot more improved than what we have right now. I love this setup a lot better as well. Has everything you need. Once again, more improved and cleaned up, you know? More improved, more like refreshing to look at. I love the exterior look as well. Like this little thing here. They even added like some plants here as well. It's just overall very refreshing to look at. And then of course, we cannot forget Pizza Planet. Oh my gosh, this took a completely different like turn. So um, Pizza Planet in Blockburg right now is based off like, it's kind of like the one from Toy Story, but uh, this is like a more modern, different approach to Pizza Planet. So of course, you've got your people here that will serve you some pizza tables as well, tables and chairs so you can eat inside. This is where you would make the pizzas. And then of course the delivery people would have to go right here to pick up the pizzas. Oh, that's actually really cool. <gasps> wow. I like this a lot better because I, I find myself getting stuck in here a lot. That is the update on Pizza Planet. This took a lot of changes. I should, I should probably go over here, huh? Let's go over here. Let's finish what's over here real quick. Okay. So we got the hair salon. The hair salon was not the best place to like to look at, but here is what the updated uh, concept hair salon looks like. I actually love this flooring. Whoa, ours is a bit plain and very simple. It definitely looks like a hair studio now. Oh, do you like the revamp project? <gasps> yes, I do. It actually looks like a hair salon. Amazing. Let's continue on. Let's go to over here. I think this is the, uh, oh, look at this. Oh my God, the green clean janitorial services. Okay, even the janitor place got an update as well. Oh, <gasps> look at this. You got like a seating area here. You got all your cleaning equipment. Glenn is still, you know, he doesn't like his job. And then we move over here to Blocky Burgers. <gasps> I want to see what they did with this place. Blocky Burgers. Oh my gosh, is that you? And it definitely looks like a fast food um, burger joint now. It looks like a fast food burger place. So yeah, you got all your seatings here. And then this is the updated cashier place. I love the little burger designs on the walls as well. Like instead of just leaving it plain there, they added burger decals and stuff on the wall. Amazing, amazing job on that. All right, what else do we got? What else do we got? Okay, now we can go over here to like Mike's Motors, the gas station, Ben's Eye Cream, all that good stuff. Let's go here, Mike Motors. They even updated it with the golf cart. 
Um, the minivan, the roto minivan. It looks a lot better. It looks it looks really nice. Oh, they even have a car on display out here as well, like this car and then the motorcycle. And then of course you got your gas blocks. They completely removed the um oh this is what the oh my god this is the repair place is this the repair job it's the mechanical the me, the engineer the mechanical job i think i forgot what it's called i don't work here very often change people's tires spray paint stuff and fix things so i like how this changed as well they've taken out the parking garage completely so i think you can kind of see that here i don't know people barely use the parking garage so i don't blame them for actually just removing it completely because no one really uses it. There's a lot of things that aren't used in this game. So, of course, they have the Blockberg sign right there. It's kind of like Hollywood on that mountain over there. Because, you know, the mountain's just like a mountain. So, it's really cool that they added something to it. And it looks like that. <gasps> okay, let me go over here first. I don't know if they made any changes over here. But, oh, they added the sign here at Blockberg Park. Okay, so nothing really changed here, I don't think, in the ice cream place. Uh, they didn't really change the ferris wheel. No changes were made. I think it's fine over here as well. I think this area is fine. What's that over there? Who is that? Do I want to know? Do I want to take a look? Is that Froggy Hops? <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that's Froggy Hops. I knew right away. I, I knew his frame. I know his frame. Look, it's Froggy Hops. Wow. Froggy Hops. Hi, Froggy. Look at this area. So this is the Block Brick Park. So yeah, it's just an updated like park area. So if you want... Ooh, they got like two benches here. That's crazy. Wow, look at that. <laughs> they even have a hot cocoa stand. All right, so yeah, I believe, I don't know if there's anything else really changed, but uh, let's go over here to Lovely Lumber and take a look at this Blockberg sign. Wow, okay, nothing much changed here, but it's nice to see that. Hopefully they do something like this too. I want them to do something like this. It'd be kind of nice. Get a photo. Look, I'm in Hollywood. <laughs> I believe that is pretty much it. Uh, I believe it's mostly just the town update, like a town renovation. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, you found it silly, dumb, interesting, or inspiring in some sort of way, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. And if you guys want to continue, you know, watching other things on this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. Let me know what you guys think of this concept of the Blockburg town being updated. Once again, it's just a concept. It's not the real thing. It's a community project. Once again, shout out to the developers of this for creating this it was really well done thank you guys for taking the time already to watch this i will talk to you all in the next upcoming video so stay healthy stay safe have a wonderful day beat up red signing out goodbye everybody